Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm actually really nervous to film this video because this is something that I've lived with my entire life and I really want to talk about it because I don't think many or anybody talking about it and it's so rare that when I looked it up online I barely found any information and when I did go to different websites all pretty much the same things. And so I really wanted to try and uh, raise awareness about it and just, you know, just kind of talk about the syndrome one that I have. Uh, because if I tell somebody, like a person, they'll be like, oh, like, you know, I got told, um, you know, oh, does that hurt? Like, how did that happen? Were you in an accident? I'm going to actually film another video. I'm going to do like maybe a series within this um whole thing um, about like questions that I'm asked and the dealing with it on a daily basis and my like mental health with it and everything like that and uh but one of the questions you know uh the other uh were you in a car accident and stuff like that people don't know how insensitive that is because like you know like this if you like if you see something just leave your comments to yourself and i know a lot of people are curious but at the same time like i'm not i'm not gonna ask if i see like somebody walking with a cane or what kind of oh so did that hurt how you do like no that's rude and disrespectful no and um i just want to talk about it i want to raise some awareness around it and so um i didn't even tell you what this video is about but you can tell in the title if you're watching it um it's about flatterel syndrome or as i call it fader syndrome and i'm probably butchering how you say it but in the title of flatterel in the title of flatterel and the uh, flatterel is um each letter is an acronym so it's an acronym of the characteristics that you will you can have um if you have this syndrome so i have if you have up to three of the characteristics then uh you most likely will have the syndrome i have three and i'm developing a fourth one so i'm gonna stop rambling i did actually write like a little script here so if i'm looking down i'm looking at my notes because i don't want to you know i want to make sure i'm kind of staying on point so the acronym <laughs> Uh, this is going to be really difficult for me to pronounce because I can't speak proper English on a daily basis. So, B is the vertebral de defects. A, anal atresa. C, cardiac defects. T, tracheoesophageal fiscula. R, renal aminales, uh, am aminales. L, limb abnormally, or abnormalities. So when I was actually born, I was born in 1991, March 12th. Um, I was born in Scarborough uh, General Hospital, and I was I don't I don't think it was more than a couple hours, and I was immediately taken to Sickest Hospital, Hospital in downtown Toronto. When I was there, I was immediately taken into surgery because I uh, had uh, I don't know all the all the surgeries that I, I had that I had when I was that little, but I did have my first heart surgery then. And since then, I've had a, quite a few after. And my last one being in October, which that will be a separate video because that's definitely a story time. And um, yeah, I, 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 maybe I should get Ryan to be in that video with me because he was like there pretty much most of the time and especially when all the drama was there. So uh, I, I'm gonna ask him if he wants to be in the video with me and see if uh, we can do a story time about that because that was definitely an interesting one. <laughs> So yeah, so cardiac is definitely one of them that I have. The second one that I have is renal. So renal is your kidney. And uh, my kidneys, so when I was born, they didn't notice really anything about my kidneys until um, I guess they noticed that I did have with the shell and I had my kidney and they were gonna leave the shell inside of me, you know, cause there was no issues until the shell got very infected so they had to remove it. And then they noticed that kid, the, the kidney that I had was not working 100%. So, I technically should be eating healthier than I am, but um, I like healthy too much. But, um, yeah, that, that doesn't work out. So, yeah, I have one kidney that doesn't work 100%. And I have heart issues. So, we have heart and kidneys. And then the third one is one that everybody notices, which is why... Um, when I tell people the syndrome that I have and they're like, well, 
What is that? I've never heard of that in my entire life. Are you sure that's not a fake thing? I'm like, no, it's real. It's just very, very rare. So, limbs. I've probably shown this in my videos before, but this is my arm. And um, I have a bone missing, so I have, you know, up to here, and then I have, I don't have my radius bone. And then my hand is obviously, like, it's curved, so my hand, I'm missing my thumb, and I have webbed fingers. I do have actual x-rays. I'm going to see if I can include them uh, in this video. I'm going to see if I can include them here. If I did get them in the video, then congratulations to me for editing them, and uh, hopefully I can edit better. <laughs> but yeah, so, yeah, I have some x-rays, and they're really cool. If you didn't see them, I will put them on my Instagram, and I'll have my Instagram linked down in the description. So, yeah, um, with the red fingers, they actually did give us splints to try and straighten my hand and help with those fingers. Unfortunately, because I was young, my mom, I guess my mom didn't really want to force me to do anything that I didn't want. And I hated it. I absolutely hated it. She told me a story that, because um, I'm hard of hearing, that I actually took my hearing aid at one time, left it on the table at, at in front of my house. We were going out with some friends. We were going to take the bus. And my mom was like, Ashley, where's your hearing aid? I'm like, oh, I took it out, left it at home. My mom's like, oh my gosh. But um, I can't hear without it. Um, I just, I just, I don't, I don't like hearing aids. <laughs> um, I'm actually, I'm going to film a video about my hearing loss as well. I have so many videos I want to film. Anyway, I'm sidetracked because <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Um, but yeah, so, um, I went, uh, that's like, like the main, like, point that I, like, that bothers me the most on a daily basis. I'm, like, I think I mentioned before, I will do another, um, I'm going to do, like, more videos about it, talking about my day-to-day -day life, how I do the certain things, how people re uh, react to me and ask me questions and all that stuff. And it's not something like I said, it doesn't hurt. It's not painful when you get people asking, oh, did that hurt? Were you in a car accident? It's like, dude, seriously, I'm not going to ask you if you're wimping, like, what's wrong with you? Like, uh, that's so rude. That's so disrespectful. Like, no. Um, I'm looking at my notes. So the fourth one that um, I am developing and once this whole, uh, once this pandemic hopefully slows down soon, I will, I need, I, well, I want to go to the doctor and figure out more about. Uh, when I went for my surgery, I had to do pre-op, um, x-rays, MRI, CT scans, all that. And I noticed that I was developing scoliosis. I don't know if it's mild scoliosis or really bad, but they've noticed that I am developing scoliosis. And that's one of the things that you can, that, that can happen to you. And when I was researching, that was one thing that they said that that can happen. Um, you know, you can be bent uh, over kind of thing. I've watched an episode of Grey's Anatomy and that, somebody in the episode had Vader syndrome and, um, you know, she's kind of like, you know, bent over and um, that's what I've noticed I've been doing, but I definitely know that I need to try and straighten up my back, maybe do some yoga, uh, Cassandra's telling me, maybe try and do some yoga stuff and get my back straightened out or something, because definitely I know I do hunt over a lot. So um, definitely uh, th that I know of, that they mentioned in the hospital that I am developing uh, scoliosis, but I don't know 100%. I want to go um, speak to the doctors, find more information, and see if we can do anything about it. So there is no real cause of it uh, that I found, but they did say it is more, it's most likely found in babies that have moms, mothers who are diabetic. And my mom was a diabetic, and uh, that's you know that's one of the causes I guess like that can happen, or it is found in most moms that or some moms that are diabetics. And it's very rare. You can find them in one in 10,000 to 40,000 babies, which is absolutely crazy. And uh, yeah, so I don't know. I hope this video was kind of helpful. That kind of gave you some more information. I'm going to link um, some 
uh, web pages that I went to to find more information. I'm gonna try and I'll list out the characteristics down below for you guys as well and the ones that I have and if you want any other video regarding this then please let me know down in the comments. Uh, leave me questions, maybe I'll do a Q&A about it. Um, because I really want to, like I said, I want to raise awareness about it and I really want people to know that it is a real syndrome and that people actually deal with it and um, I just want to, I, I want to help others that, you know, as much as I can. So please leave me your comments or questions down in the comments now, uh, in, down below and please also make sure to check the description for web links and uh, the acronyms. Uh, like the care is for them and um, I hope you guys are doing well and I hope this video was a little bit informative and I hope that I got to show the x-rays but I will post them on my Instagram anyway. So as always all my social medias are linked down below my Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and Goodreads so make sure you go down in the description to check out for those links and also the link that I mentioned before and please leave me a comment down below letting me know what kind of videos you'd like to see me do uh, what do you want to see uh, more videos about the syndrome like I said I want to do a QA. and a I'm going to do story time about when I went to the hospital regarding my surgery um, all that good stuff let me know down in the comments and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye guys